Hey there, in this video we're going to look at mental math subtraction. So we're going to take a look at how we can take um, two digit and three digit subtraction problems and do them a little bit more in our head and less with the um, long subtraction method. Not that there's anything wrong with that, doing it with the long subtraction method, but if you're able to do some of it in your head, it can save you a little bit of time on some problems. So. Um, let's start with number one here, 89 minus 36. So just to review the subtraction, um, long subtraction, sometimes like on this one, when you have 9 minus 6, the, where the top number is bigger than the um, bottom number, and you get 3 here, 8 minus 3 is 5. That's actually a pretty quick one, because in the first number, both of the numbers are larger than in the second to the respective one. Now, um, essentially with this one what you could do and eventually what we'll look at doing is just like with um, mental math with addition we would take 80 and we would subtract 30 for the tens place and then 9 minus 6 for the ones place and we would add those two values together and that would give us our final answer so 80 minus 30 is 50 9 minus 6 is 3 add those together and you get 53 so again I use this example because it is super simple with a uh, long subtraction, but you wouldn't necessarily do this one written out long like this, um, but you could do that in your head without writing out this long subtraction. So if you're able to see the place value, you can do eight minus three or 80 minus 30 and gives you 50 and then nine minus six gives you three. So that would be 53. Same concept over here, but this time if I were doing the long subtraction, 42 minus 27, I would have to borrow from the two to get me 12, drop this to a three, 12 minus seven is five, three minus two is one. So that is an option, um, but just to show you again how we could go about not doing that, we can use those placeholders. Um, now when you do or those place values, not placeholders, but place values. Now, when you do this, you'll notice though that if we have 40 minus 20, that is gonna give us 20, but then we have this two in the ones place minus seven, and that gives us a negative number. So with that, um, I would just be careful if that happens, um, I'm going to actually erase those, and I'm gonna kind of show you another method as to what you might choose to do. So we talked at the end of the addition problem um, mental math video that we might choose to write, for example, 42 as 40 plus 2, and then we still have minus 27. And that might help because then we can look at this 40 minus 27. And sometimes it's easier to look at numbers that end in a 0 when we're doing subtraction especially. So 40 minus 27, um, I personally would probably count up from 27. So counting up from 27, if I have 27 of something and I need 40, I need to get up to 40, I would first probably do 27 to 30, which is three, and then from 30 to 40 is another 10. So that's gonna be 13. You can sit there and do um, like actual subtraction, long subtraction, but if you can count up, sometimes that's helpful as well. And that takes account for 40 minus 27. And then we still have this plus two, and so that's where we would get 15 from. So sometimes that's helpful. Um, you could even do that in your head in the sense that if you go from 27 to 40, um, 27, you count up to 40, you get 13, and then you realize, okay, I have to get up to 42, which is another two past 13, and that's how I would get 15. So that is an option as well um, as to how you might do some of that mental math in your head. So looking at um, this first, three digit subtraction problem. If I did set it up with the long subtraction method, um, you'll see that the seven minus five, four minus three, and six minus two all come out to be positive with no borrowing needed. So you can do that. Again, um, I do wanna talk through just in your head. Again, I wouldn't necessarily be writing this out if I were doing this on the test, but 600 minus 200, and then 40 minus 30, and then seven minus five. 600 minus 200 gives me 400, 40 minus 30 is 10, 7 minus 5 is 2, so that's 412 as your final answer on that one with subtraction. Um, and I did that again without actually doing the 
um, long subtraction method. Now another way you can think of that, um, with 647 minus 235, you can um, think about it like we've talked about where we break the 647 into um, two pieces and think through it that way. So we could think of this as 600 plus 47, and then we still have minus 235. And then we could go ahead and use the 600 minus 235 first. 600 minus 235, I might even think of it even more broken up as 600 minus 200 minus 35, and then we still have this plus 47. And again, I'm writing this out, but you wouldn't most likely be writing this out because that is going to take a lot more time than just doing long subtraction. Um, but if you can do that in your head, 600 minus 200 gives us 400. And then minus, I forgot my 4, and I wrote my 47. There we go. Um, 400 from these two, and then minus 35 plus 47. And then using those order of, order of operations, you could even combine this negative 35 plus 47 and get 12 there. And then you're just doing 400 minus, um, I'm sorry, 400 plus 12 because negative 35 plus 47 is 12. And so 400 plus 12 is where we get the 412 from. So that's another option. Um, I show you these not because you would necessarily be fluent in all of them, because one might make more sense to one person and a different method might make more sense to another. So these are just some options to play around with. Um, if you are somebody that maybe has that ability to do the mental math and avoid the long subtraction method. So with number two here, 503 minus 19, if you start to subtract the place values, you'll notice that um, the three minus nine, you would have to do some borrowing. So instead, I might break this 503 into two parts. So I might think of it as 500 plus three, like we've talked about in some of them, and then minus 19. And then I can go ahead and do this 500 minus 19. I personally, if I'm doing that in my head, would probably think, okay, 500 minus 20, 500 minus 20 is going to be 480, but if I'm only subtracting 19, I didn't get all the way down to 480, I got to 481, and then I still have that plus 3, and then 481 plus 3 is going to be 484, and that would be my answer on that one. On this one again, if I try to do my subtraction, I'm going to have to borrow. If I do 7 minus 9, I'll have to make that 17 and go from there. Um, so instead, I might think of, okay, 497 is pretty close to 500. So I could rewrite it as 500 minus 3, because that is 500 minus 3 is 497, and then keep the minus 19. And so then I'm thinking more along the lines of, okay, what's 500 minus, and I would probably subtract the 19 first. Um, just to get down with or get done with the um, larger number first. So 500 minus 19 again, I'm probably thinking, okay, 500 minus 20 is going to put me at 480, but I didn't quite subtract 20. So I'm at 481 and then I subtract three this time. Um, and so when I do 481 minus three, a couple ways I might think of that. So 481, if I just count backwards, 480, 479, 478, and so 478 would be my answer. Um, some people also think of, okay, I use one of the three to get to 480, then I subtract two from 480 um, to account for all three that I'm subtracting. Again, it just depends what you are comfortable with. So 478 would be your answer in number three. And then on number four, 546 minus 378. With this one, if I try to do my places um, and I subtract six minus eight or four minus seven, I'm going to get um, negatives, which means I'm going to have to regroup and, and borrow and whatnot. So I might think of this one instead. Um, I might break that for 546 into 500 plus 46, and then I still have minus 378. And then I might look at these two together. So. Again, we've talked about that count up method. So with the count up method, if I'm starting at 378, I might ask myself, how can I get to 400? And then from 400 to 500, I know that that's an additional 100. 
So if I can figure out how much to get from 378 to 400, and then just add 100 to it, that's what your answer is when you subtract these. So 378 to 400, I would probably start 380 to 400 is 20, and then I have an additional two to get from 378 to 380. So that would put me at 22. So again, 22, adding 22 to 378 would get me to 400, and then another 100. So 500 minus 378 is 122. And then I still have this plus 46. From there, I would probably use what we learned in our last video with um, our mental math addition. And so that would be 122 plus 46 adding the um, place value. So 100 is the only one there. So there's 100 plus we've got 20 and 40, which is going to be 60. And then we have 6 and 2, which is 8. So that's going to put us at 168. So again, I'm showing you this work, but a lot of it you might be doing more so in your head as opposed to actually um, writing it out. If you're writing it out, it's probably just as quick to do it with um, your long subtraction. So we talked about subtracting um, place value piece by piece and then adding it together as a whole just like we did with addition and then same thing with method two we talked about rounding up or down um, to whole numbers and accounting for that change so rewriting 497 for example is 500 minus 3 or writing 503 as 500 plus 3. We also talked about that counting up method so counting up is going to be helpful as well. Um, so just some things to keep in mind as to how you might do this.